Hey guys, my name is Shai. This is a yes or no pick a card reading. It's cards numbers one to five and then six to ten. Go ahead and pick a card and I'll see you in your reading. Okay, card number one. Seven of Cups. Okay, let me get the light on this. The Seven of Cups is one of those few cards where I really have to disappoint everybody. This is neither a yes nor a no. I guess it kind of leans more towards a no because it is absolutely not a yes. It's This is not a guarantee of anything. The Seven of Cups is having choices spread out before you and it points to the fact that you are feeling totally confused and you can't figure out which way to go. Um, and so you're thinking, yeah, obviously that's why I came to this video and picked a card and was hoping to get a clear yes or no answer. But the thing with the Seven of Cups is that the whole point of your situation is that you need to look inward to find the answer. For some reason, whatever you're asking about, th there's a lesson here and the lesson is to find the answers from within and to stop looking for external confirmation. You know, your higher self and your guides, they want you <laughs> to figure this one out uh, for yourself. And it's not, it's not, you know, to punish you or anything. It's just that this is your opportunity to really feel into where you want to go, feel into where it is best for you to go. So you need to tune into your, tune into your heart space, um, really just feel for the most resonant direction and you'll be led <laughs> in the right place even if it doesn't seem so great at first these things have a tendency of working out in the long run so i'm sorry to disappoint you on this one um but i know whatever decision you make on this it will be the right one you can't actually mess this up it is just feeling the direction of the current, figuring out where the universe wants you to flow to. Card number two. I really like the Queen of Swords. I think this is a wonderful card. I really identify with the Queen of Swords, actually. However, this is typically, for most situations, a no. The Queen of Swords is not a particularly loving or forgiving kind of character. She is all about telling you to get your act together, do what needs to be done, get rid of the things that you need to get rid of. It's all about like house cleaning, you know, me metaphorical house cleaning, right? right? Only the things that are most resonant for you, only the things that are in your highest good should be kept. Everything else has to go. There's probably something most of you need to let go of right now. Need to let go of because the Queen of Swords is asking you to, you know, stand in your own sovereign truth. And there is definitely a truth you need to be seeing here. There's probably something you are avoiding. Um, you know, maybe even just kind of lying to yourself. You're just kind of hoping that really isn't the case. This is you, you really need to tune into your clarity of vision, because there's probably something you're not seeing. And so even though this is a no, this is a really good thing, because the Queen of Swords, you know, this owl carrying this sword of truth is coming into your life to to bring you clarity. The clarity is coming. Um, but yeah, for your specific simple answer, it would be a no, but there's actually really good energy going on here, and you're going to come out with a much clearer picture of this particular problem. Card number three. The Empress. Uh, this is a yes. This is wonderful. I mean, we have this fox here, this mother fox. She's got her little fox cub in the den. We've got but the butterfly of transformation. We have this lush, beautiful tree. We have what looks like sparkling fairies. This is abundance. This is happiness. This is fulfillment. This is you stepping into your own. This is you being completely comfortable in your surroundings and in your own self. So I don't think really too much to add to that. This is wonderful 
all the way around. <laughs> Love to see the Empress. So this is a yes. Card number four. The moon. Okay, so here we have, I don't know if this is a wolf or a coyote, since we have, you know, high rises in the background and this canine is tipping over a garbage can and the fish is coming out. <laughs> I'm going to say, you know, this is an urban environment, so it is probably a coyote. It's interesting. It almost seems like the coyote is letting the fish go free, but I bet the coyote was trying to eat the fish. Um, it, it found the fish in the garbage can, tipped it over, went to eat it, and was like, oh, that fish is actually <laughs> getting away. Um, again, with this card, I'm going to give this one a no because I think there is something here you're not seeing. Something is going to unfold in a way you don't expect. You know, you're going to knock over a garbage can and a fish is going to flop out and make it into the river. And it's like, wow, how was like that fish could have only been in there for a few seconds in order for it to be alive. But yet it was in there and yet it swam away and you were left, you know, feeling hungry, like waiting, waiting for dinner, going, what am I going to do now? So I, I don't think this is a like really serious energy. I just think that if you try to do the thing you're asking about, or if you try to follow through with this path you're on, um, there's going to be something unexpected happening, and it's just not going to work out the way you expect. There's some kind of illusion going on, something not quite clear. So this is a no. Card number five. Five of cups. Okay, so <laughs> the five of cups is always a no. This is disappointment disappointment, right? You were having a party, you had five glasses of champagne, and three of them are smashed. There has been some kind of fight, some kind of conflict, and you were left just not not feeling good. Five of Cups is never a good energy. Um, there's always a silver lining here. I think this is a moth, not a butterfly. It looks more like a moth to me. This moth is flying away to greener pastures. Things are definitely going to get better. <laughs> Things are going to improve, but right now... Um, the no means this thing is not for you. It is going to lead to disappointment um, and it's just not going to work out the way you hope. However, um, keep pushing past that and the Five of Cups energy is temporary. It does not st stick around forever. So don't get too uh, worried about this. Um, just keep moving forward because the place that you're in right now holds nothing but disappointment and frustration for you. Card number six. Temperance. Here we go. This is a yes. This beautiful frog coming up out of the water. I love that this deck uses an amphibian to represent temperance because we have a creature that lives in, you know, water and on land. They have tempered those elements. Of course, they also use air to breathe. And we even have a little bit of a representation of fire here. Um, with the stars burning in the sky. So this is... I think this process is actually going to be a little bit uncomfortable for you because um, I'm, really, I'm really drawn to the frog uh, imagery, right? You got to think of the tadpoles having to grow their legs, having to grow lungs, having to learn to breathe air. Um, you're going through some kind of process where you're going to feel a little bit like a fish out of water <laughs> and it you're going to really feel like you're being stretched in in new ways but this is all for your highest good this is really in your best interests and this is absolutely a yes this is a lot of positive positive energy here just go easy on yourself while, while you're going through this process of tempering everything you have been so far because you're going to come out as more than the sum of your parts. So you're basically a tadpole becoming the frog. <laughs> so this is a yes. Card number seven. Seven of Pentacles. Um, this is a no, but more specifically, it's just a not yet, not right now. You need to wait. 
So this no could transform into something else, into your yes later on. But right now, Seven of Pentacles is all about growing your garden. Um, in this case, it is this spider, this who has woven her webs. She has all of these Seven of Pentacles um, tangled up in these webs. That, that That's really interesting. If you guys are asking about investments, <laughs> if you're asking, like, should I pull my retirement fund or something like that? Don't do it. OK, don't do it. Um, leave your money where it is right now. Everything is uh, is growing. It's been invested and this is not the time to tamper with it. And that that same energy goes with what, whatever. Whatever you have stored away, whatever you are waiting on, it needs to keep waiting because it is going to be multiplying and turning into something greater later on down the road. It's just like if you planted a seed and were waiting for it to grow into an apple tree. Uh, you know, don't cut the tree down before you have harvested all of your apples, really, <laughs> right? And especially with an apple tree, don't cut your apple tree down at all because you want to keep getting apples from it. So. Whatever it is, guys, just wait. It's not time yet. Not right now. Wait. And then when you feel the energy start to shift, then you can look into this problem, ask about this question again. Card number eight. The chariot. Okay, so this chariot card is depicted by the badger. Um, basically, <laughs> you guys remember Honey Badger memes? This is you. Do not quit now. You keep on going, okay? Um, just go watch that, that, that old Honey Badger meme. Th that, that's the answer to this question, okay? <laughs> just keep working at it. Do not give up now. Um, go, go, go. You got this. You can do it. It is not time to look back. It is not time to second guess yourself. This is charging forward with all of the passion, ferocity, and trust in yourself that you can muster. I got nothing else to add on that. Honey Badger says it all. <laughs> so this is a yes. Card number nine. The Hierophant. Okay, this is, look at this mouse. Um, like, I don't know if he's lecturing or preaching <laughs> to these little mice down here. Um, but I feel like, well, first of all, this is a yes. Um, but more than that, I think you are really being called to speak up and to stand out. You have something to teach. You have a message to share. This is activating your your voice. You know, you need to unlock your throat chakra. What what do you have to share with the world? And if you're feeling like there's no room for your voice, what's the point in trying to share whatever you have to share? There is room for every single voice on the planet. <laughs> there is a reason why we are here. There is a reason why you are here. Your voice is needed. There are people out there to hear you. And of course, this doesn't have to be speaking. This can be visual art. This can be doing something practical. Whatever it is, you need to be sharing of yourself, sharing of your energy. Um, not in a way that is draining to you, not in a way that is uninspiring to you, but you should be, you You probably know what it is. There's something that inspires you very, very much. And that is what you should be sharing with people, um, you know, at your own pace when you feel comfortable with it. But this is just, you know, the reminder, a reminder from the universe that your energy is needed, unique, and valuable to others. And you are absolutely being invited to share it with the world. Card number 10. Six of Wands. <laughs> this is victory. The, the Six of Wands is triumph. It is always a very clear, very simple yes. <laughs> you are going to be feeling on top of the world. You might actually be getting some recognition from the people around you. If you have been feeling like you are not recognized for what you do, this could be at home or at work or even um, like with your art artistic endeavors. Um, this is recognition coming through and it could come through very subtly with, you know, somebody you live with just finally going like, 
you know, I really do notice um, that you're always doing the dishes. I really do notice that you're always folding my clothes, something like that. So when you do notice this um, recognition coming through, don't forget to appreciate it because when you appreciate it, when you're grateful for it, that will allow more gratitude or, you know, more, uh, more recognition, more of that energy to come through for you simply because you were grateful for it. And I used to always think that that whole practice gratitude and that's how you manifest more of something thing. I thought that was just so dumb and cheesy. And I was like, that can't possibly work. But I really had an epiphany about this the other day when I was, <laughs> I was really irritated with my stepson and, uh, I was kind of lecturing him a little bit because I felt like he was being, um, you know, me and my husband both felt that he was being ungrateful. And of course, he's a teenager. So, you know, he was just being a teenager. Uh, so, you know, not a big deal. But, you know, we were having a chat with him. <laughs> and uh, uh, the words I heard come out of my mouth really resonated with me because I said, why would we keep giving you things if you don't appreciate anything that we give you? <laughs> pretty pretty obvious thing to say to a teenager right I'm sure most teenagers have had that said to them I know I know I have had that said to me when I was a teenager but that really hit home I was like oh that is why uh it is important for us all the time to be practicing gratitude because the universe works that way the same way you are with your kids or the same way you know you are with anybody you don't keep giving somebody something if they're not grateful for it it's the same way with the universe itself, if if the universe like notices that, you know, notices on however the universe notices things, right? <laughs> the universe notices that you're not being sufficiently grateful for something that goes, oh, well, that person doesn't want that or they don't need it. They're, they're not resonating with it. It's not for them. So I'm not going to give, give it to them anymore. <laughs> so even if it's just, a, if you need money, even if you find just a penny on the ground to be grateful for that penny, because the universe will go, oh, that person is grateful when they get money. Let's give them more <laughs> because the universe will give you what you are grateful for exactly just like how humans do. Does that make sense? So I guess to bring that back to this card, whatever you are um, given, whatever you receive with the six of wands, really be grateful for it. And then it will multiply and you will receive more of that in the future. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.